Now we will see MCG as a meter. Where MCG is moving coil galvanometer. So a meter current. A meter is a device which uses to measure the current. By applying the Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. That is the Ohm's law expression. If you want to get the V by R expression where V is constant, we will get I is proportional to 1 by R. So this expression will come when two or three resistors are connected in parallel. So there is a moving coil galvanometer G. It has some resistance Rg. And this galvanometer should work as a meter. For this purpose, we should connect a resistance in parallel to the galvanometer. The resistance what we are connecting to the galvanometer resistance is shunt resistance Rs, where Rs is equal to shunt resistance. And Rg is equal to resistance of galvanometer. Rs is equal to shunt resistance, Rg is equal to resistance of galvanometer. So now, this Rg and Rs are connected in parallel to each other, then this galvanometer will work as a meter. So how we will see. If Rg and Rs are parallel to each other, then what is the effective resistance? 1 by R effective is equal to 1 by Rg plus 1 by Rs. Therefore, Rg, Rs is the LCM. So we will get Rs plus Rg is equal to 1 by R effective. So therefore, R effective is equal to Rg plus Rs by Rg. 1 by R effective is equal to Rs plus Rg by Rg Rs. Therefore, R effective is equal to Rg Rs by Rg plus Rs. This should be the effective resistance to for the working of a galvanometer as a meter. If suppose Rg is much greater than Rs, then it will become Rg by Rg and the R effect will become 1. If Rg is much less than Rs also, it will become 1 ohm of resistance. So in this case, there will be a deflection in the galvanometer needle. The pointer will deflect from one point to another point. So how much deflection is there for unit current is called sensitivity of the galvanometer. sensitivity of galvanometer so what is the sensitivity of galvanometer the amount of deflection per unit current amount of deflection per unit current is called sensitivity of the galvanometer and there is an expression for the sensitivity of the galvanometer also we know that phi is equal to n a b by k of i so thus uh, that i i am bringing to the left hand side n a b by k phi deflection i current so deflection by current is equal to n a b by k this n a b by k is sensitivity we can write ESG, sensitivity of the galvanometer. Next one, we will see MCG as voltmeter. Next, moving coil galvanometer as voltmeter. Voltmeter is a device which is useful to measuring the voltages or potential difference across a conductor or across the given points. So, from Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. So, V is proportional to R. So, if you want to get the R value, R effective, 
this resistance should be connected in series then only we can able to find out the voltage so that's why for galvanometer resistance we should connect a resistor called shunt resistance in series so this is the galvanometer it has the resistance rg and we should connect a shunt resistance in series rs so for this section what is the effective resistance r effective is equal to rg plus rs suppose if rs is greater than the rg the effective resistance will become rs if rg is greater than rs effective resistance will become rg then it will be worked as a voltmeter device so rg plus rs previously we have discussed about the current sensitivity in ammeter pi by i is equal to nab by k now we are going to find out the voltage sensitivity voltage sensitivity we know that phi is equal to nab by k into i and we am getting phi by v is equal to, because voltage sensitivity deflection for unit amount of voltage is equal to nab by k into i by v v is equal to ir see here v is equal to ir v by i is equal to r but here i by v therefore may i write i by v is equal to 1 by r so therefore i am substituting i by v is equal to 1 by r therefore voltage sensitivity phi by v is equal to n a b by k into 1 by r from this expression voltage sensitivity is inversely proportional to the resistance if resistance is more voltage sensitivity is going to less so from this v is again proportional to r we proved this v is proportional to r so phi by v is inversely proportional to r so we got current sensitivity phi by i is equal to n a b by k and phi by v is equal to n a b by k into 1 by r suppose if number of turns are increased to 2n r is increased to 2r so what will be the change in voltage sensitivity or current sensitivity there will be no change because this rule was an implication of ohm's law in ohm's law a conductor of length l it was cut into two halves l by 2 and l by 2 their resistance will become 2r so r by 2 so r is proportional to length so such like that because of the amplification of because of ohm's law or amplification of ohm's law implication if n becomes 2n or r becomes 2r there will be no change in phi by i r phi by v no change in phi by i r phi by v where phi by i is current sensitivity where phi by v is voltage sensitivity so such like that we can convert a moving coil galvanometer by connecting a series res a resistance in series as a ammeter as a voltmeter in parallel as a ammeter see this problem in the circuit the current is to be measured what is the value of the current if the ammeter shown is a galvanometer with resistance rg 60 ohms is a galvanometer described in but converted into an ammeter by a shunt resistance rs 0 0.02 ohms is an ideal ammeter with zero resistance see here the first question is galvanometer with resistance rg shunt resistance is 3 ohms so what will be the total resistance the first question 
total resistance what is the value of the current if the ammeter is shown so the total resistance first rg plus rs so what is rg 60 rs 3 total 63 ohms so this much of the effective resistance should be there to find uh, the amount of current for the 3 volts next one it is converted to an ammeter by a shunt resistance rs is equal to 0 0.02 ohms so in this case it will become uh, some uh, 3.02 ohms so 3 by 3.02 ohms like that we will get the answer so 1 by rg plus 1 by rs is equal to rg plus rs by rg rs therefore r is equal to rg rs by rg plus rs so what is rg 60 what is rs 3 rg plus rs 63 180 by 63 if you get this value we will get uh, approximately 60 by 21 so it will be some 2 point something is the answer so the 2.6 is ohms is the answer for the effective resistance should be there if it is in parallel with the 0 0.02 ohms therefore 1 by rg plus 1 by rs is equal to 0 0.02 ohms rs by rs is equal to 0 0.02 ohms so where this rg rs by rg plus rs is equal to r effective so rg is 60 rs is 0 0.02 by 60 plus 0 0.02 it will be 60.02 and that will be some 120 approximately you will get 0 0.02 ohms if this 0 0.02 ohms is added to this it will be 3.02 ohms so therefore rg plus rs is equal to 3 plus 0 0.02 ohms approximately 3.02 ohms so therefore i is equal to v by r from the diagram v is equal to 3 r is equal to 3.02 so therefore it is 0 0.99 amperes for this much of shunt resistance the current produced is 0 0.99 amperes Next one, an ideal ammeter with zero resistance, which is 3 by 3, 1 ampere. The last situation, ideal ammeter with zero resistance. With zero resistance. So we can say I is equal to V by R. So 3 ohms by 3 volts by 3 amp, 3 ohms. V by R, 3 by 3, 1, it will be 1 ampere. So, for an ideal ammeter which has zero resistance, it passes unit 1 unit of current. When it is shunted with 0 0.02 ohms, it passes 0 0.99 amperes. When it is shunted with 60 ohms, so 60 plus 3, 63 ohms is the effective resistance. Like this, we can understand this moving curl galvanometer problems. So, in this lesson, we have started with uh, what is the source of the moving charges, Lorentz field, and uh, magnetic field due to a thin wire, biot Savet's law, circular rings, solenoid, toroid, moving curl galvanometer, 
and the force between the two parallel uh, rods which carries some amount of current what is the definition of ampere so these all things we have discussed in these things so these things will helpful to find out the certain frequency of the electromagnetic waves which was discussed in the lesson electromagnetic waves so this is the basic introduction about the upcoming lessons if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus